Certainly mm -hmm. is. So what's Jove mean? When I was about 14, 15, uh, I was working for uh, one of these older DJs from the neighborhood in Gravesend, and he had uh, said, hey, you're taking over the DJ company, you know, find something interesting, you're done getting, you know, look, raw mythology. So I kept on looking through the names, you know, and I saw Jupiter, Zeus, king of all gods, and then one of his nicknames, the biggest moon is called Jove, actually Joe V, and that's what I originally started as, and became Jove, and... Whatever it is, what it is, is Jove now after so many years, and uh, that's Jove. Nice, so, nice. So kind of yeah. stuck on Jove. Yeah, it's, it was unisex. Nobody could discriminate against me. It was, uh, you know, you didn't know if it was a guy or a girl. Just going through, you know, press kits back then. You know, it was really generic word document. You know, back in '02, but uh, it just stuck, and people never really treated me any different. They just, you know. So who's your favorite cool. Greek god or goddess? Well, it would be Zeus, come on. You know, yeah. King of all gods. If you, you gotta go if, with, if you the, look, with the top dog. <laughs> I know a dog named Zeus, if, actually. When, when you Google so Jove. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is a big one. When you Google Jove, you actually see him like just chilling with his staff with a naked girl beside him. And when you're 14, 15, Ah, uh, yeah. You want to be, be him, yeah. You want to be that, you know, person. So, so you think you have special powers? powers? No, no, none whatsoever. No. no, no, no. I just work hard, practice hard, and you know. So where do you DJ? Um, well, it's been a traveling thing lately. So I've been uh, in two countries so far in the last six months. My Which third one? Last month, Costa Rica. Wow. That was oh, my nice. first stamp on my passport because wow. I really left the country. Almost got like, you know, abducted and all. Where in Costa Rica? In Costa Rica, Costa Rica. yeah. It's it's, from a guy or a girl. Uh, it was a group of police officers the whole night. It was just a weird scenario because because if you don't know, it's, it's the West Coast. It used to be Honduras. Like there's a lot right. more to it. And oh, it's Costa Rica. It's up and coming. No, it used to be Honduras, and it's just really shady. And it's about two hours from the airport. And it's not like the East Coast or San Jose and Lamona's, but the West Coast is uh, t Tamarindo. It's just different. There's a different thing. Like Madonna's got a house there, but I'm not Madonna and I don't have goons and anything, so you know, they'll take me. Well, okay. there's a yoga place there. That's where she probably goes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yoga. Yoga, yoga. Yeah, there is a big yoga place in Costa Rica. There's a big yoga uprising going on. Yeah, well, it's good. It's good for you, you know? Yeah. It's the breathing and the, you know. Yeah, but the, the traveling. You contact your true. inner Zeus. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I had uh, somebody tell me about hot yoga. Just yeah, detox, I do it. detox. I I'm do like, it. It's I'm good. I'm thinking about going. You know, I I'll, 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 I'll bring you. It's pretty crazy, yeah. actually. Can you? Really? Yeah. It's I heard there's a 50 minute and 90 minute. It's 90 minutes. Right? Yeah, there's a beginner's class. I heard. They're all beginners classes, and there really? are all there are all kinds of people in every class really? out there today. Really? How was it? It's good. It's well, like the torture, it's you know, the torture the chamber, you know, you know like, that. you go in there and you're like, what the fuck did I do this for? But then you leave and you feel like, and, and, and you definitely, um, cumulatively, you feel like changes from the inside out. I don't know about you, but I have a lot of freaking, um, I'm paying for a lot of things from my use. Okay. And, and it kind of, like, I feel like nothing undoes it except that. Yeah, it's, it's like rotor rooter to the injury. I was told that it, it's a and full it finds, detox. A it full finds detox. like the yeah. places that you fucked up, and yeah. it just goes right there, and it's hard. And it it's, like pinpoints it, and like it does. Ew, gone. It well, it takes time because you know it's years and years of being messed up. I but thought like, hot yoga was mm -hmm. a room of yoga without air conditioning because they couldn't afford it, and I found out it's for detoxing. Well, so I, I heard a lot of things about it. Like somebody told yeah. me that it started in India, so they kind of try to make it like that. Like there, they do it on concrete in 100 degree weather, so they kind of like try to replicate that. Yeah, I've heard all different things, but maybe you yeah. should try it because uh, it might be talking to you. But yeah, like, so you were in Costa Rica. Where else? I did the Bahamas thing uh, in uh, April. All places yeah. I've never been. I want to go to the Bahamas. How yeah, about that? I've never been there myself either. I want to go. It was a good time. And uh, I'm doing Mexico next month. Oh my gosh. So you lucky enough. That's good. Now, have you yeah. been to Cancun before? No, I actually just, first time really traveling, like you said, 9-11. Yeah, yeah I flew I back. My first show, I flew, you know, that I actually was cast for, that I denied for, I actually flew to Cali for my first flight. And it was like six hours, the worst flight ever. Anything that could have happened on a plane happened. Oh no, it's like, like what happened? Oh, the Harrison Ford? Right, it was Ford just bad. Like, I mean, 
generic stereotype of like a plain, it was bad. And did after the, that, uh, did the oxygen thing spoil them? No, <laughs> they, <laughs> no comment. It was just a bad time. Wow. By myself, no TV, six hours, you know, seated in a recline. And actually, I was uh, sequestered, so I was locked in a room for four days to see if I could be kept and captive. And wow. It was like a test. Yeah, that was a test for Costa Rica. Yeah, yeah. That was a test for Costa Rica. Right out, plane into the Sheridan Hotel that's right across the street and locked in a room just for so like a show you? Was on the island. Yeah. So no, no, it was 30 people. So these people yeah. love sequestering you. Yeah, yeah that's what really it seems bad. like. You know, we need a skeleton from your closet, but like it seems like your whole life is one. Uh, I got something really funny. Tell us. I really, I really started DJing because you know my mother's a foreigner. She's off the boat, so I mean, she, she used to walk behind me walking down the block. She's like, I'm busy. You know, so like I really got into the DJ thing because she used to lock me in the dungeon, and she would never let me out in the whole night. So what I really, kind of dungeon? Well, it was just the basement, very okay. giant. So for the most part, she would say, uh, like, "Oh, what are you doing?" I'm like, "Oh, I'm, tr I'm trying to do this professionally. I wanted originally to be a wedding photographer, uh -huh. and I got into doing an assistant for a guy on 18th Avenue, and it, so the DJ business. And I used to play drums and other instruments, but hey." I could do this music thing maybe on a DJ level. So it was one of the one of the very first computer DJs in 02, 01, 02, beta testing, bringing desktops to Copacabana where everybody laughs and everybody brings a laptop to a club. And now they're DJs, you know? But yeah. and then I evolved and I told my mother, Oh look, you know, I could do this, I could make money. She used to check my wallet on uh, 16, 17, seeing if I was getting paid. And she wouldn't let me out. So I actually started DJing thanks to my mother over protecting me. And that's kind of a little embarrassing compared to everybody else's story of being a rock star. No, I did it to get out of my mother's arm. Isn't that why people me. used to get married? Yeah. They get married. Oh, look. You get a macadamia cookie. So um, what kind of music do you play when you're DJing? I'm probably one of the most open format guys on the market. Like, I've been to... Say Amazon nightclub back in like 06. I was playing Hanson in front of 4,000 Jamaicans. Like I'm probably one of the very few people that could get 4,000 Western. Did they have, did they have like so, a reggae oh, version nice. of Hanson? No, sure they no, no, no. It, it's like anybody could play a playlist, but it's just play selection. Same thing like how they format a concert. You know, you have your playlist. So Everybody's do you know how to rock is just put it together right, you know? Do you know how to make remixes? I've remixes, I've produced in the past, I worked with a lot of cool, interesting people. Really? Yeah. I've been wanting to do this so, remix so bad. Like, you know how to mix two songs together? Yeah, come on. Mashup. Oh. Mashup's probably the easiest, but stay away from that commercial stuff. I oh, I have a project that I wanted. Industry stuff. I have something yeah, I, I want to try. I, I've been wanting to do this for a long time. So I'm going to send you the songs. All right. Oh, how cool! I like how cool would a house version of you suck be? Oh well, that wasn't what I was thinking, but um, <laughs> but now that now that I put it out there on the yeah, table, yeah, that would be fine. Uh, well I'd be game for that. Yeah, my, totally. My big thing right now is going into the club ownership thing. So I own a, a bar in Brooklyn. Where? Off, uh, Gravesend Avenue, McDonald. So is that like Sheets Head Bay? It's not too far off. It's my neighborhood. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. Actually, it's actually above a hundred-year-old pharmacy. It says drugs. Above the door. When of you the bar? The steps. Yeah, it's the funniest thing. This used to be pharmacy. Really? Yeah, and, really. Then, and then it turned into auto shrunk and head. It was a pharmacy. This uh -huh. this was a pharmacy. Then, like, for some reason, like, you know, the State Department of Buildings, it's easy to do stuff on an open layout. Then so what's heads. in your club? Is it open? Oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's open. It's a boutique lounge loft. Um, and we have, like, a wide selection of clients. And then, we actually, uh, we took over a place on 29th between 10th and 11th here in Chelsea. Oh, nice. Yeah, so right now, uh, that's like my baby right now. We're hopefully opening in like two And that's going to be a club? It's a four-level establishment that the rooftop is in the Hudson Yards project. Wow. Yeah, I stepped in shit. No. So, uh, <laughs> the good kind of So your mother can follow you around now? No, 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 no. I actually have, like... A safety cushion between me and her, so. Oh, good. good. That's good. She but she'll be proud of you. Yeah. Do you get Sunday dinner That's still? Cool. <laughs> no, they're, they're dieting now. I can't remember really? the, my parents would die and they lost like 150 pounds between both of them. Wow. So my, my mother, she's a short little silly woman, just big cannons now. You know, it's just scary, but it's funny. Wow, yeah. so she doesn't make the food anymore? No, no. Once in a while, she gives me the pasta when I come and visit. But right. It's, yeah. 
You know, it's, it's better that way. We all have to be healthy. Yeah. I dropped Absolutely. 80 pounds. Wow. Know, stay away from processed foods. There you, know, you just go. Simple. No cheese. There you <laughs> go. There you go, right? Exactly. So, I mean, I guess we have to get smarter, right? Yeah. No cheese. cheese. See you in the Bikram room. Yeah. <laughs> You're going, DJ Joe. Yep, yep. All right. Uh, any last shout outs? What's your website? How do uh, people find you? DJ Jove, everything, Twitter, Instagram. And um, what are the names of your clubs? I got the two of Phil here in, in Brooklyn. And Chelsea, we actually, between the three names, I can't even mention it. But uh, you'll know. Uh, you can see it right up there. Yeah, I figure in the next month you'll start seeing it. Are you going to have an opening party? Pre opening, the whole nine, the whole bougie factor. Cool. You know, so we'll see how that goes. October third through the eighth, and that's with the uh, modeling slash photography worship workshop program. So they actually uh, start to network thing called Paradise Bash, but it's more about new models, you know, to beginners to intermediate to uh, same thing with photographers. It's a network thing, and you know, it's nothing's better than a paradise with the sunset as you know. Sundown, the whole nine, so it's pretty yeah, for touches. Yeah, I'm gonna get a good sounds like a Put that really. butt out. You know, I don't tour yeah. it, but you know, it's Yeah, I'm sure they have those little beach bars. It should be interesting. But yeah. Mexico's different there, so it's not Mexico. like what it used to be. It's not so, like it was in oh. too when I went. I'm just happy that I don't have blue eyes. They would like my blue eyes. That's what I heard. Well, wait. So get the eyes blue contacts. But maybe yeah. you'll be I'm hanging out here. with the Millers. Isn't that the movie, Jonesy? The Millers? Weren't they in Mexico? Who are the Millers? The Millers, yeah. Yeah, with the drugs. Yeah, yes, exactly. Yes. That was a good movie. Pot's not a drug. No, but, no, but I never but, smoked But they're in Mexico, it's an right? Like, I'm, a, I'm a big against the drug kind of guy. And, pot's and not a drug. Tutu all knows that. Pot's no. a plant. It is what it is. Yeah. yeah. Listen, you know, like, they had this electric zoo thing this past weekend. Two oh, that was and terrible. That, it, 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 I, I know, that was terrible. You know, just the final note, like, I'm a big, I never did weed. I never did anything else. If I went so far to, you know, enhance my skills performing in front of thousands of people, I'm sure people could do the same. When you go to work, is the song different from when you're on drugs? Yeah. Do you yeah. like it during the day? You don't have to do it at night. And, you know, that was the big thing. And, you know, everybody has their opinion. Yeah. You know, and you know, it, it's I agree to a certain degree, but I never did it. So I'm a big drug free guy. Have you read anything about what Sanjay Gunta, the doctor, the famous doctor, is saying? Oh, from his, CNN. Yeah, his he wrote a whole article about how he was anti pot. And then he started. He read this story about a little kid who was having seizures, yeah. and they went out and they finally found doctors who prescribed the, the, the non- medical. Right, and the kid's seizure stopped. He started doing research, and he changed his opinion. Oh, what? For the medical just, use, like and anything somebody else? Somebody was just telling me yesterday. They saw a meme on Facebook that said the only plant that can absorb radiation is cannabis. They looked yes. it up, and it was true. I, Interesting. I definitely agree with any plant or any medicine as long as it helps. And it would stop yes. the deforestation uh, by growing fields of it and using it for things like rec- recreational like is different. Yeah. Than recreational I just don't think. Yeah. But I, the thing is, is that there there's a big stigma on how bad it is. We're actually recreational. You can call it bad if you want. I love it, but um, <laughs> pot does a lot of things that. DuPont has contracts for in the big pharma. Yeah, they all do. Yeah, that's yeah. why it's such a so bad Mars, and, and that's why it's illegal. Um, Advil, I'm sure. Advil is for, for, for helping people. I do yeah. a lot of charity work, and what I've done, I know people that take it for, I want to call for their own problems. You know what I'm right. saying? I suppose it's yeah, but cancer. The thing was I know terrible. people have cancer, and they had to go through it, and they're living in Jersey, and the whole shebang. But for positive factors, I just don't think recreational. <laughs> I don't think, you know, you should be doing it at a, at a straight festival, like a Wrangell's Island. Yeah, that was bad. That was that's, just totally That's really bad. disgusting. That really, was bad. And I'm not into that whole scene, but, like, stuff like that really makes me look bad. It, it, makes, it puts a stereotype yeah, on yeah, 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 yeah. It, And also on hip-hop or yeah. anything. It's just disgusting to see negatives in anything, especially music. Music is a positive factor. It you know, is. So with everything. We're all about music saving so. the world, not yeah. hurting the world. It, exactly. You know, what is it about this music where people automatically have to think that everybody in the building's dropping in? Yeah. yeah. What is it about hip hop that automatically 
you know, the stigma with it. Somebody's going to pull out a nine and start shooting people just because... Well, let's hope not, them. because yeah. we're all about guitars, not guns. And that's, yep, yep. that's who partners with us on Ruin Who. And we're all about peaceful intervention and creativity saving the world. That's it. Yeah. Thank you so much for visiting. No and come back anytime. We, we want to hear all about the new club. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. All right. We'll be back. We got more on this first Wednesday in September. You sued me, then you used me.